Hello everybody. Now, I haven't done an update on the one pound rescue orchids in a little while, so there's still just enough light for us to go out there and have a look. I thought I'd grab you guys, we'll head out to the greenhouse and have a look and see how they're coming along. Okay, so I've just had to turn the ISO up on the camera. It's getting a little bit dark out here. Luckily, this camera's pretty good in the dark uh, or in low light conditions. So this was the, um, the No ID Oncidium. Now, this was starting to look a little bit pale for a while. It had gone really uh, sort of like getting too much light and it was sad and it was starting to go a bit limp. So I've moved it down. It actually lives down underneath the bench now on top of some racking. And it seems to be a lot happier. Now, I wouldn't say it's been an amazing success story because it hasn't compared to one of the other, the, the no ID brassier. But that aside, we move some of these canes out of the way. Hopefully you'll be able to see. There's a nice big growth emerging down here from the base of this bulb here. There's also another one which is emerging. If I bring it in close to the camera, just down here. So. It's not doing too badly. It is at least putting on some new growth. So hopefully that was still going to survive. Although it does look a little bit on the sad side as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't, still doesn't look like a happy orchid yet. I'm just going to put that back in. I think we actually need it, but just in case. So that's the Oncidium, which is a no ID. You've got no idea what it is whatsoever until it blooms. And But the big success story, do you remember the Brassia? You can just see the top of it there. Do you, who remembers the brass? You must all do. This thing was like shrivel central. It looked like a port scratching. It looked dreadful. But that's what it's turned into. Let's zoom in. So if you remember right, remember before it was just these shriveled pseudo bulbs here. There's also another growth coming out down there, I've just noticed. But it's produced, since then it's produced these two new growths here. This much more mature one and this one here. And it's growing like the absolute clappers. Let's zoom in and have a look. There we go. Okay. So yeah, here we can really see 
the new growth that has emerged from the base of the plant. There's also lots of new root growth. I'm going to zoom out again so we can get some more light in the aperture of the camera. And I'll bring the orchid up towards us. So yeah, here we go. Here's, uh, here's all the new growth that came out of it. So it's growing really, typical hybrid, it's growing really fast. And then I've just noticed as well the other day that there's a, another growth emerging just down here by my fingers. So doing really well. There's also lots of new roots sort of clambering out the top of the media. Uh, and it's also producing some inside the crown of the plant there as well. So you can see some of the roots sort of in the holes in there and here as well. So they've all stayed live. They've got weird little pinky tips on them and stuff. So it seems to be doing quite well. So that's been a success story. Really chuffed with that. Just don't know what to do with them when they've uh, finished growing. And the other one, the one that wasn't looking quite so rough, was the Mastervalia, which has just grown like great guns. I, this featured in one of my other videos a little while ago. So this thing just grew like the clappers. And um, it just goes to show that even with temperatures getting up as high as nearly 30 degrees in here, um, certainly hybrid Mastervalias seem to be able to tolerate my conditions. So it stays nice and humid, but it does still get quite warm, and they seem happy enough to tolerate it. So we might be getting some more Mastervalias quite soon. So let's pop the rescue orchids next to each other before we sign this short video off. And there we have it. So that's what the rescue orchids look like at the moment. Thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll see you all again soon.